Welcome to the Hippie Report, siblings. Said I'd start the show at one today. This feels like real close to one. Feels real close. What's up, Melody? Hope you're doing very well. This is, uh, this is the Hippie Report. I'm just tuning this on today. A little early in the day uh, compared to some other episodes. Um, I'm going to try and make this one a short and sweet one today. No topic, of course. What's up, Wayne? Welcome to the show. What's up, Taylor? Welcome to the show. Today is a special episode of the Hippie Report uh, because each day is special and sacred in its own way, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, and I must say, uh, you don't need a reason to have it be a special episode. You know what I mean? The more mystically enlightened you are, whatnot, maybe like you don't need shit to be so special for shit to be so special. Greetings to all you beloved siblings on the fucking internet today. Also, greetings to people in the future watching this on uh, local TV. And um, I hope you're all doing very well. <coughs> Plenty of things to do. It's a beautiful day. Um, we're still in quarantine, of course, officially. And... Um, it has been decided that this show will likely continue after quarantine. Which is surprising. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Kirk. So it looks like this show is going to be on local TV uh, in the future, and I will be doing these same live things. Uh, and uh, also be doing some like pre-recorded things as well. I want to like go around and get back in touch with local officials and kind of let you know who's working for you out there. Uh, I bless you, each and every one of you today. I hope you're all having an excellent day. My day uh, is shaping up to be sort of um, a work intense day, and uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I hate to not be distracted properly. So, um, today will probably be a busy day for me. That's why I'm getting this uh, hippie report thing going early today, instead of waiting until a million o'clock. And, um, I don't know. I hope all of you are doing well. Yvonne, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I'm going to probably end up doing some kind of like a special report episode with this show. Um, and I'm going to be checking in with our local officials and kind of like, oh, try and get some community closure about how all the fucking... How it all went down, and, and um, I'm, I'm curious to know how people like the police chief think um, we behaved ourselves in the quarantine. And, like, if there are any lessons to learn from that, that'd be really interesting. God damn, I try not to do too many far-out, uh, serious topics on this show, and I promise to be a fucking complete idiot if I talk to those important people. It's sort of my thing, I guess. But, um... I don't know. It just seems like the community needs to get like a little bit of FaceTime and a little bit of fucking closure from our from our officials about some stuff. Uh, and why not? I'm a friendly guy. I'm sure they'll uh, take me right into their office as soon as I can prove I'm not diseased. You know, perhaps slightly mentally ajar, but certainly not diseased. Was that the end of the bong already? Damn, I smoked that bong fast. Wow. This hippie report is going super quick today, I gotta tell you. What's up, Don Wilson? I hope you're doing very well. Bless you with a million blessings. It's a gorgeous day in Longmont, Colorado. The sun is shining. Uh, the, the garden is begging you to come worship in the sun. Uh, I won't, of course. I've got stuff I have to do. Uh, one day I'll get back out to the garden. Maybe I should do more episodes from the garden. But uh, there's, there's fucking nothing planted out there right now. I know that there's a title to this episode, but there's the if you haven't been able to tell by now, 
mostly the titles to these episodes are meaningless. I just find the, the, the episode and the number to not, that doesn't, that doesn't move me at all, man. Episode titles move me. And I've got 30 great titles on the Facebook page so far. Afternoon cocktail to you. The, the drink that I invented uh, for myself during this whole ordeal was made of ingredients that I could find at the grocery store uh, at, the, at the low point of the um, quarantine. And it's uh, bourbon, honey, uh, one of those like tart cherries uh, that uh, aren't in any gel or anything that are in a can, canned cherry and, uh, and uh, an orange. And that makes a poor fashion. Can't afford any bitters, you know, but the honey's kind of a nice, I don't know, kind of a nice vibe. That's called a poor, poor fashion. And uh, I'm sure that that's been invented before. I'm sure it's called some other thing. Little orange peel, a canned cheap ass cherry, tart, tart cherry, it's a little too tart, almost, um, and then fucking, you know, the honey, it's a good time, it's a good, uh, fucking, little, uh, quarantine cocktail, quarantini, if you will. What up, Paul Renix, what up, Amy King, ooh, I fucking love smoking weed with all of you nice people in the afternoons, thank you very much for joining me, um, I just happen to be smoking this great shit today called Wedding Cake. And I got it from some place that's not a fucking sponsor of this show. Um, <laughs> no. Most of the weed I smoke is, is weed that people give to me. And that's very kind. And if you want to be on my uh, list of people that give me weed, that, I just welcome you into that, to that list. But uh, I, I was thinking about working out some sponsorship kind of stuff for this for this show. If, it, if I'm going to keep doing it at this regularity and uh, add these extra steps. It takes me about an hour to upload it on the other end for the TV people now. So it's kind of a thing. But um, if I'm going to keep doing that, it'd be great to have some actual sponsors. You know how like every time I take a drink of my fizzy water or, or pour my bourbon or whatever where the camera can see it, I always have. I always try and say not a sponsor, not a sponsor. Soon, um, we'll probably be going the other way on some of that, and being like, "Look, a sponsor." <laughs> you know. Um, hey Seth. Hey Kathleen. Here is my new idea for how I'm going to deal with sponsorships. Um, I because this show is going to start appearing on television. I feel a certain responsibility. So now. You know how I always say, like, if I were to pick this can up, I would say, not a sponsor, not a sponsor. We're, we're, that's well documented on this show. That's like one of our catchphrases here. Not a sponsor, not a sponsor. I'm going to keep doing that with every single thing in the shot that's not a sponsor. But then there are going to be these other items that slip in to the shot. And those items will be from a sponsor. And I will just not say, this is not a sponsor. So let's say, uh, and those weedy pipes, I take a fucking, there's no company called that, of course, but let's say that there wasn't their sponsor of the show. I'll take a drink of my water. I'll say, not a, not a sponsor, fizzy water, not a sponsor of the show. Not a sponsor. Very good. Very good. Bless them. But not a sponsor of this show specifically. And then I'll fucking take a big hit of like this very specific product thing. And I'll be like. Boy, this product works excellently. I can't believe uh, the, the craftsmanship and uh, artfulness associated with this piece of uh, a beauty in the world. And from now on, that's going to be how we know who the sponsors are. Because that's what TV is already doing to you. And if I'm going to be on TV, I want to try and subvert that a little bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll speak very highly of the sponsors. And... Um, and I'll, I'll try my best to point out every single thing that's not a sponsor. Do you kind of get what I'm trying to do here? Like, uh, Iron Man in the fucking movie will say, like, yeah, let me just put on this Axe body spray for a second or whatever. Psst, you know, 
and uh, and we'll all sit there being like, he's cool. He's got the Axe body spray. Maybe I should fucking have the Axe body spray, and then I'll be Iron Man or whatever. Well, that's how this native advertising kind of vibe works. And I'm going to try and really do it in a way that it's so obvious that you won't be able to not see it when it's being done to you. That's the idea. That's the idea. So, we'll see. If we get a sponsor soon, um, I'll, I'll be sure to, to praise them for the entire episode conspicuously, you know? And I'll specifically not say, not a sponsor. And then we'll all know that's a sponsor of the show. You know what I mean? I promise to make it obvious. That's my responsibility. Thanks, Hand. I appreciate that. Hey, Paul, how are you? So we'll see. It's going to be like local Longmont TV. So it's not like CNN or something. But like, it's funny to be on TV. And as long as we're going to be on TV, we might as well do art associated with being on TV. So, uh, first idea was about that advertising thing. Maybe you can ride along with me on that. Look at this. I'm still getting my fucking wall in the shot here. That's the level of professionalism we're dealing with here, folks. I'm sorry. God damn it. I'm so sorry. I'm such a fool. I didn't even look at it. I'm trying to be careful not to work too hard on this show. Or else it'll start becoming um, fake somehow. I don't want this shit. <laughs> I dropped my lighter. I want everybody to relax. I know I made a big noise there. I want you to just relax. I dropped the lighter. I'm going to go for it now. I'm not going for a gun. It's just my lighter. I'm just going to reach for it now. I want you to freak out. Don't freak out. So I'm not going for the gun. I'm not going for the gun. I'm just going for my lighter. I'm just grabbing my lighter now. It's just right here. It's on the floor. I'm just going to grab it now. Just relax, just relax. Just relax, be cool. I'm gonna grab it now, I'm not going for the gun. You have to just trust me now. Sometimes we have to trust each other in life. Sometimes we have to trust each other in life. I'm not going for the gun, I'm just going for the lighter. There's not really a gun down there. I don't know what all that was about. I don't know what that was about. Sorry about that. It's just a weird scene. And it just happened. <sighs> I blame the weed. Can I blame other things? I blame the weed. I blame the, the, the whiskey. You know, that kind of thing. I'm not drinking a poor fashion today, of course. Because I, I opened up the can of fucking cherries and it was like, you know, Jesus, they're not good. They're not good cherries. They're what were left over. And it made the old fashioned kind of like a little bit sour and the honey kind of offset that oh, the poor fashion dude that's a pretty good drink but none of this you don't want to just put a bunch of honey in your whiskey that sucks ass a little bit and then like a fucking one of those ugly cherries and then the fucking zest bank bingo bango wango tango that's a good little drink Did you like that little scene, Hind? I'm so glad it pleased you. I was just being silly. I don't know why I had to make it like that. You know? I have no idea how that seemed or whatever on your end. I'm glad it, it appealed to you. It's a stupid show. And uh, may it ever be a stupid show. If I ever do any, like, special report stuff about the community that we do take seriously, I'll try and, like, get real information and capture the real true vibe of the city. And I promise to just be a, a kind of joyful idiot the whole time. It's sort of my thing. Anyway, just, uh, just letting you know. And, um... <laughs> mm. Today's episode, uh, I titled something about the robots. 
Oh, it's like one of the uh, one of the lines from a song I'm I'm about to release on the new album. I have a new song about the robots overtaking humanity. I have a few songs about that in the world, um, but specifically I have two songs about uh, the robots overtaking us uh, on this new album. Uh, one song is, is already out as a single, but it's going to be remastered for the album uh, and remixed a little bit. Uh, the song is called We Build the Gods, and that is on Spotify now. Uh, but the other song is called uh, The Robots Will Take Control. It's a good, it's a, uh, I, I wrote it as sort of like a poem and then kind of just transcribed it into a song. Uh, I found the poem, I'd probably recite the whole thing, and I, I really, really loved reading it. Uh, I love playing it because it's almost my speech uh, rhythms and whatnot anyway, because of the fucking rhythms of the tune. It's a great song, man, for me. And I'm really excited to release it. Yeah. The, the first fucking line is, uh, it's over. We had a good run. The dawning of the robots was a twilight for someone. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines I've written in a while, man. Anyway. Just checking in for the day. Um, I hope all of you felt like you got to, I don't know, smoke a bowl with me or whatever, or pop a beer or whatever it is, or scratch your back or whatever it is you like to do when you're relaxing. And, um, you know, man, I just, I know there's a lot of bad news out there and a lot of like misleading fake news, uh, around the world and tough to know who to trust. And I just am here to try and give you a break from all that kind of stuff for just a little while. You don't have to trust me at all, man. I'm telling you I'm an idiot. So like just inviting you to relax and smoke a bowl whenever you happen to watch this. Um, feel free to slip into my DMs on Facebook. Uh, hit me up at, at the Hippie Report. It's like where I post all these videos and I do them live for now from my own Facebook page because that's where people are and nobody knows about that other page so I'd mostly be just talking to myself even more than I do now. Thank you, Hand. Thank you for that compliment. That's very kind. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Bless you with all the blessings. Go out and take yourself a good day. You know? And I don't necessarily mean go out of your house. I mean, go forth and prosper. See you next time.